What's going on everybody? It's more loyal fish guy here. Uh, it's been a while since my last video. Uh, just been really busy with a lot of stuff. Um, I haven't been focusing on the fish super hard. Uh, it's, you know, just been doing a lot of Christmas shopping, you know, job stuff. Uh, but here I am making a video. Uh, this is the 65 gallon tank. I just noticed something um, that's been a plague for me in a while. If you remember the shipment of Florida fish I've gotten, oh, by the way, speaking of Florida fish, the fish I've added to this tank, which I'm playing a little bit of musical chairs with fish, but the peacock bass and the tilapia, here they are. They've grown really big since my last video or since you've last seen them. Um, and here I have my double spotted pike, which is hiding right in there. I actually also rescaped this tank a little bit. I added that big uh, piece of driftwood this is the Geos. I actually kind of plan on breaking down this tank. Um, next time I see a good price on a 75 gallon, the tank dimension is, is in this tank are not the greatest. This is a three foot tank, um, which is 18 feet, uh, 18 inches uh, deep. And it's like 24 inches wide. So basically it's the dimensions of a 40 gallon breeder this way and this way. So essentially I have these fish in a 40 gallon breeder with a really big top, because this is 65 gallons. Um, and these fish, you know, they don't really, they need like at least a four foot tank. But the reason why I wanted to make this video um, is actually for the fish that just swam over there, is this golden top minnow. Um, I am not sure, and I wanted to come back here, but he's probably not feeling well because he's on the verge of death. Um, this golden top minnow let me see if I can find him. He, if you watch all of my videos, and if specifically actually if you watch my unboxing video or the one that I actually spoke about, um, actually getting these new Florida fish, I actually have gotten a total of five of these golden top minnows. Um, I've gotten three males and two females. Now, my first shipment of Florida fish, I got the males died almost instantly. I had them really not for that long. There's also a bite show over there. There's the top minnow, just so you could. The male died, um, he's right back there. He's like late, he always, something's up. I mean, I know he's gonna die. Um, if you, I kinda wanna get a look of his, is my pike creeping up? Um, he's gonna die, I know he is. I've dealt with these top minnows for long enough. When their back starts like almost shedding, it almost looks like columnaris, um, but it's not. And this isn't really like, the best video because he's kind of hiding. Uh, let me see if I can get around here. There we go. You can see it there. Um, that fish typically always swims at the top of the tank. Um, and it's, you know, he's clearly not you know, behaving like itself, or she is actually a female. Um, and I'm not sure what it is. This fish has been in the 65 gallon now for like four months. And I've had it for a total of like six, probably about five. Um, it also went through a quarantine phase and now it's in here. And now, I don't know. I thought, I always thought it was my water quality or at least, you know, the water change difference maybe from the Florida waters to here, but this one has been alive and well for months now. I don't know what it is, but I just wanted to get this on camera just to kind of show like, there's nothing I can really do for this. I've tried everything in the past. And typically when I've tried to fix this, it just gets much worse. I just feel bad for it, you know, like, let me see if I can get a really good close up. Like it's not getting picked on by any fish. You know, my, there's my tilapia who's a little aggressive. Um, you know, not really picking at it or anything. No one really, everyone basically just leaves it alone. Um, so that's why I know it's definitely like an Ill, either an illness that it has, it gets, or um, I'm not sure. It might be a little bit like stressed just based off of like the predators that are in the tank. Like even though like this peacock, for example, like they are actually from the same waters. 
And like, it might just be stressed from just from like being confined in the same area as a peacock bass. Like a peacock bass in the wild will literally eat every fa single fish in this tank. But at the same time, you know, uh, this, you know, this, you know, Jupari, you know, doesn't know, really know what, you know, do, how often does a Jupari actually get eaten by a peacock bass in the wild? Hardly ever. Same thing that goes for these pikes, you know, like, but a golden top minnow in the wild does get eaten regularly by peacock bass. So I uh, just wanted to see, you know, what people's takes are on this. If you know, anyone had any comment or anything, um, but be sure to like, subscribe, comment, that whole bit. You know what it is. Um, I turned off the lights in the other tanks, but here's a little glimpse. That's a Christmas tree in the background. So I turned off all the lights just because I, uh, I can actually do this quick. I don't, I typically, these lights are just on, so I'm not really giving that much of a shock. But here's what's going on in these tanks. I, I didn't really want to make this a around the island update, but I kind of want to show these all off because, just because it's, you know, it's been a while. Uh, everyone's basically doing well. I'm having, the worst part about this tank is my plants. I am doing so bad with these plants. I have a ton of java fern in here. Like, just look at that. Like, my tilapia is just destroying. This is the bigger tilapia I got. He is just destroying all the plants in this tank. Um, the, the, this is, this is a ja uh, java moss, a um, java fern, which basically, like, a lot of fish don't like eating, apparently, because of, like, it's, like, flavoring. But he has no problem just going to town on them. But, uh, this, you know, no big updates in this tank. There's my other pike. Next, always poke his head out there. My actually, you know, update on this tank, actually, my Royal Pleco died, like, a month ago. And I think it died because of starvation. Um, I kind of, you know, there was algae in here and stuff, but just on further review, like, do they need, like, some meat product? And uh, I'm not really sure. I think it was maybe starvation. You know, a lot of times, like, I spoke to a guy at the pet store, and he was like, yeah, you know, good, good amount of times, a lot of Plecos, when they randomly die, it's because of starvation. Um, so I actually replaced them with in this tank, which I I kind of am regretting this purchase now just because of the nature of the fish um, but Yeah, that's again before we get to the 29. This is the 125. I have a lot of cichlids in here Which is why I almost want to get that 75 gallon just because like, I kind of want to like I'm just thinking out loud here. This is just a video just me thinking out loud like I seriously like I got these 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 uh red hump geos to breed them and they really aren't that common but i think i'm just gonna have to give up on the breeding um see maybe after i get the 75 gallon like i'm in no rush when i get see a good deal at PetSmart, i'm gonna buy it um but like i don't know like these geos just aren't me like they're not aggressive oh, they're kind of aggressive for geos but like i want to put fish that a fish that's in this tank into a 75 gallon which is this guy green terror uh, these fish just got out of quarantine i actually did some black friday deal shopping and it's been about a month i don't really quarantine i quarantined for like three four weeks this tank actually looks a little bit cloudy i'm not sure why um but this tank actually this this is my plagued quarantine tank my plagued asian tank that was my asian tank that i when i remodeled it it's been doing very well. I, haven't, I don't think I've ever, knock on wood, I don't think I've ever had death a death in this tank since I actually remodeled it from being my Asian tank. Um, so I have eight turquoise rainbow fish, Bolivian rams. All the fish in this tank are new, basically, except for that gourami um, and the quarries. Um, I have two keyhole cichlids in here, the two Bolivian rams. Eight rainbow fish, the green terror, and then I have underneath here, which you won't see, because um, it hides out. It, li I literally, and this is what I'm regretting the purchase for. I, uh, I have a gold nugget pleco, which I literally never see it. And also in this tank, and also in the uh, 65 gallon, I have uh, Senegalis or Senegal bichers. Um, if you remember from that video I took of the food and the growing back, these are them now. 
The other one, the bigger one is in the 65 gallon, which actually got its fins ripped apart. That one has gotten huge. It's grown much faster than this one. So I'm wondering if it's like a male female thing or what, but ultimately what I would want to do is add one of them into the, um, the 125. And then like, I don't know, like, like there's a lot of musical chairs that are going to be happening. Like that fire mouth could end up in the 29 gallon. Fire mouths don't get much bigger than like five inches, six inches max. So like, I could see this tank ending up being like the rainbows with the rams and like the keyholes, which say small and the fire mouth. So like this is like a cichlid tank of like dwarf cichlids. So it's like, see like that, the green terror, like he's just, a, like he's like a nasty fish. He's like an Oscar almost, but um, I'm kind of all over the place in this video. <laughs> But uh, he's also probably really hungry. I think this is a male, by the way, too. So I kind of wanted a male. They're a little bit more aggressive, but in regards to look, like I have no problem with his fish as being a dominant male in a 75 gallon tank. With fish that will either fight back or, you know, defend their territory or whatever. You know, it's things that can just survive. Ram behavior. That's why they call themselves the Rams. <laughs> they can't go, they can't ever hurt each other, but man, I gotta feed him. All right, before I start just rambling on and on here, this is gonna be it for this video. Like I said before, <laughs> be sure to like, subscribe. Um, let me know what you think of all the fish, what you think of their growth, everything. I know for a fact now this is actually a female Jack Dempsey. Upon further review, but again, that's gonna be it. So peace.